السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو حسیب الیکٹرانکس فرینڈس آئی اپلوڈیڈ اے ویڈیو یسٹرڈے اباؤٹ ایس ڈی سکس ایٹ تھری ٹو دس آئی سی اینڈ ون آف مائی ویور ہی سیٹ دس زینر از کنیکٹیڈ ان اپوزٹ ڈائریکشن سو اٹ ول ناٹ الاؤ the optocoupler to work. I appreciate his a keen interest. He watched my video with very deeply. I am thankful that he noticed, the, noticed my mistake. That was this Zena, this optocoupler was connected opposite in my original diagram. I, I connected like this so it was wrong so correct position is here so correct position is here actually how this feedback is working we take fe feedback ripples like here in the screen I connected oscilloscope parallel to this optocoupler this point and this point I connected oscilloscope to monitor the feedback pulses and I connected here load resistors three four load resistors and we will see how it will affect on the feedback when the SMPS will start pulses in start of phase it will generate a pulse and we will take output voltage at the capacitor then it will maintain the level and same time in the up input side of optocoupler voltage at optocoupler will start rising until it will conduct when it will conduct its light will activate the output transistor and it will give a ground line it will give this pulse to feedback pin before that feedback was high now feedback will get low and IC will stop switching then the capacitor is charged the output capacitor is charged load is connected at this point so it will taking current it will draining current from this capacitor when this capacitor will decrease its level at specific point again the optocoupler will turn off when it will turn off the output transistor will again turn off when turn off pin number four will get high when it will get high this pin number four feedback pin feedback pin will get high the SMPS controller will switch again when it will switch again it will replenish the capacitor it will switch in the primary we will take again voltage in the capacitor and it will again maintain its level the same time this optocoupler will conduct and it will turn off this switching so this IC will always monitoring the level of this capacitor by means of this optocoupler so let's see I connected three resist four resistors here in the output side of the load this load I connected to the switches to connect them time to time let's start and the output voltage are monitored at the multimeter now there is no load when there is no load we are taking output feedback like this I applied this resistor 500 ohm resistor and we can see the feedback at that time the discharging speed of the capacitor will increase the load I applied a load 500 ohm load at the capacitor so now I will apply 300 ohm we can see the pulses feedback 
at the optocoupler. Now we can see it is charging and discharging and it is seeking again and again and now its ripple rate is 320 kilohertz then I can without load it is working like this why this time this time the SMPS controller have wider duty cycle now it will when the load will increase so it will increase its duty cycle this is the input side of the optocoupler with no load the, another thing in the input side here is VCC capacitor this one so at VCC capacitor without no load I have 12 volt now I will put load it is 12.31 volt 12.31 volt now I will put load 500 ohm load it is 12.77 volt I will put another load now I have 13.21 volt so as the load will increase when the load will increase the auxiliary winding will increase the voltage and the ripples here in the output capacitor will start increasing so that now it is 13.21 volt 13.7 volt now it is 17 volt this time at full load 17 volt as the load will increase the voltage will change in the VCC capacitor so depending upon this it will increase its switching period switching time period now I will set multimeter to AC I connected multimeter to the primary of the transformer and now I will put load 7.45 volt 7.7 volt now it started switching at 10 volt the switching level the duty cycle of this SMPS controller depends on the load when load will increase its charging discharging time the ripples will increase or decrease when it will increase or decrease ripples at the output side at this capacitor because here load connected well when we will take ripples here these ripples will transfer to this optocoupler and optocoupler will transfer these ripples through this light this light will flicker this flickering light will transfer to the feedback pin of this IC and this IC also is taking the VCC voltage from the auxiliary winding so that it will adjust its duty cycle now I will connect the output of optocoupler when you are working on power circuit please take care never touch any circuit when it is powered up while working oscilloscope must be connected through isolation transformer I have separate isolation transformer for my test equipment and I have a separate isolation transformer for my working now I connected the output side of the optocoupler now I connected oscilloscope at these two points pin 3 and 4 this is feedback to the IC now I will increase the load this charging of this char charging and discharging ripples at the capacitor main DC capacitor output capacitor at this capacitor are monitored and transferred to this optocoupler and this optocoupler is switching here up down up down 
the ripples we conducted uh, we checked already and it will switch this out output transistor this is output transistor of optocoupler here now I will put load I put fi 500 ohm load before that it is 2.88 kilohertz when there was no load the capacitor was maintaining charge and very little drop is there now the drop level increased because I connected 500 ohm resistor now I will put another ohm resistor so our feedback pulses started at 8 kilohertz at 8 kilohertz if I switch again another load I connected third resistor now our switching frequency feedback frequency that is 11.7 kilohertz and if I put another load this time it is ripples are at 340 kilohertz so these ripples will ask the PWM controller to adjust its duty cycle without load it is just only 2.35 kilohertz without load 2.38 and when we will put load load will increase the feedback frequency will ask the PWM controller to apply more pulses when the load will increase at that time it will ask more pulses it will transfer more pulses for the PWM controller to adjust its duty cycle now we will check the duty cycle of this IC now we can see now without load we can see we have a fixed cycle here from this point from this point to this point it is one cycle and the pulse duty arm cycle it is from here to here this period after that the oscillation effect of the primary coil due to the diode resistor and capacitor that is, this is damping effect of the coil primary just we will apply a slight pulse switching on time because without load and now I will put load some load this time its frequency and duty cycle started to change now I will put more load now we can see the duty cycle shifted so it started at more duty cycle now I will put some more load so we can see we can see its duty cycle is enlarged so switching time this time increased So now duty cycle is changing.
Now without load we have switching time very very narrow switching time here from here to here then I will put load when I put load it started to increase pulses now I am putting load it started to increase pulses now we can see it started more switching time so the feedback feedback effect as we discussed here when the output capacitor will start discharging at that time the level of the capacitor will be transferred to this optocoupler and this optocoupler will give feedback to the feedback pin so this IC will start switching in the output side like here I hope so this video is good for you if it is good then remember me and your prayers thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh